Welcome back to Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. My name is Josh Lilquist, and we had a great first segment here talking about as far as what's going on in the markets. We had CPI, PPI data come out this week. Um, it was a master's theme on, on segment one with golf. I know we have a lot of golf listeners, uh, and uh, and that's, that's the same. I, I like to bring that up all the time, Al, because you have similarities with trading and investing and golf because you have to be calm when you play golf. You can't get too excited. You can't get too down on yourself because you'll give yourself, they call it the yips uh, mm-hmm. on the golf course. So you have to have that consistent strategy in the markets, which is also the same thing in the golf course. You have to have a consistent swing in order to keep things keep things going. So I like to talk a lot about the similarities of golfing and uh, the stock market. But we had a lot of people texting in for that free investing class here locally. You know, these are two-hour classes to introduce you to these different techniques and concepts that we uh, discuss here on the show here on how to make smart investing decisions for income strategies, which we'll talk about here in this segment, or those longer-term wealth strategies, 401ks and IRAs. So you can just simply text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats for our free investing class. Al teaches these. I teach these as well. And we have several per week. So pretty much anybody can attend. That's a great thing is we're a local place. We're a local company or, or academy to train people how to trade and invest. So it's a local place. You can text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats here. We're in Bloomington, real easy to find right off 494. Uh, state-of-the-art facility. We have three different classrooms and, uh, you know, training people just like you how to trade and invest. But getting into this next... You know, be, before you do that, Josh, I, sure. I just have to say something again about golf. Because okay. I think the, the analogy there is even deeper than you mentioned. And it's it's really a good analogy between that sport and trading and investing. Mm-hmm. You know, think about it. If you, How many people that are, are really serious about golf would only play 18 holes with one club, with a putter or with the driver? Not many would. No, you tr- you use a different club based on the situation that you're facing. And the same thing is true in trading and investing. There are different assets and different strategies that you need to know to really benefit properly from these markets. And also, you mentioned emotions. You, you know, sure. to, to play golf, you need you should stay calm. How many people actually do that? <laughs> How many people end up throwing a club or... Or well, hey, have you seen me golf? Uh, uh, no, I'm afraid to see. I'm afraid <laughs> to see you golf. Uh, but the emotions, if you can control those emotions, that would help you in the game of golf. The same thing is true in trading and, and investing. You have to control your emotions. You can't let the the things that you're born with, the fear and the greed, the emotions that we as human beings have, be what drives your investing decisions or trading decisions. And that's one of the things that we really concentrate on is helping you do that. Yep. And then also... Uh, if you want to kind of uh, accelerate the ability to be good at golf, you probably take a lesson, right? You and go. you take a lesson from somebody who doesn't know how to play or somebody mm-hmm. who's maybe a pro, the club pro. Mm-hmm. The same thing is true. And you mentioned instructors, the about 60 instructors we have in that first segment. Mm-hmm. And that's really a key point because if you want to learn something, learn from somebody who has really excelled at it, who is consistently profitable but also really needs to teach though al you have to be able to teach as well there's a skill that's the difference th- there. that's right exactly and 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 we're fortunate enough to have this group of instructors who trade full-time there they trade all the different assets but they know how to teach they love teaching yep. they love sharing the knowledge that that they have that's really the key i'm glad you brought so, that up so that's that's my uh, my little spiel about golf no that, and that's a really good segue into this segment because we wanted to get into more of an income strategy on this on this segment here because you need two types of strategies in income style and your wealth style or two different ways to do that. Your income strategies might be a little bit shorter term than your longer term wealth yeah, strategy. They, they have to be. Yeah, and and not, short term doesn't mean in and out every you know every minute, every two minutes, every day. Even that could be you could be trading and investing. Your trades can last sometimes days to weeks at a time for an income strategy, and that's what we really train here at Online Trading Academy. Is because most people, I mean, most people work during the day. That's kind of a common theme, anyway. And it's very difficult to have another income strategy unless you're able to do that at night, which you can actually trade and invest at at night. There's assets like the futures market, the Forex market, which run 24 hours a day. That allows people to have that income strategy outside of their job. And that's what we really we really get into a lot of that stuff in that mm-hmm. investing class that we teach here locally. Um, but I just did have a, uh, 
a couple stocks that I wanted to talk about here as far as an income strategy. And uh, we have Intel here, um, ticker INTC, and there, we have a potential uh, opportunity. It's a demand zone. You know, right around the 30, 30 bucks, $30, $30.50 area, um, down to the $30 area, which is a shorter-term income strategy, an opportunity there. And when we talk about demand, it's potential buyers, you know, institutional buyers uh, or orders sitting waiting to be filled. And that's what we're identifying. But the key is, is there, Al, is to protect those positions. That's why I said two different price points there. Mm-hmm. They're, just, they're just general prices. It's not exact. So don't don't go and just buy Intel because I said so, right? But, Please. <laughs> but then you have to have a strategy on where you want to get out right. as well. Um, so, Alex, I want you to discuss real quick, what's the benefit of being able to be given a little bit of fish while you're being taught how to fish in the markets? Yeah, no, that, that's, a, that's another good analogy, but the important part there is being taught how to fish. So you never have to worry about having somebody give you fish, and obviously we're talking about knowledge and, and trading, uh, but while you are learning as one of our students, uh we do provide ideas in uh, OTA picks. That's one of the, the sources of ideas that we ha- we provide for you. Uh, what Josh is talking about with Intel, uh, that might be one of the stocks that one of our pros uh, before the market opens might look at that and say, hey, you know, it looks like this. there's some good potential movement here at this particular price. They basically put together everything for you, tell you what your entry price should be, what your exit price should be if you're wrong, what your exit price should be if you're right. And that's really important. But you mentioned get out. How when? How do you get out of a stock or how do you know when to? That's part of what you, we teach you because there's there are three components to any trade. One is your entry, one is your exit if you're wrong, and one is your exit if you're right. And all three should be done in a way that gives you the odds of being successful and, and really uh, benefits you in that particular trade or investment. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I like the... The, the key there, too, is, like you said, it, you can't just be given trades because you're not going to learn it that way. Yep. So you have to be taught how to do that. Yeah, and that's one of the ways you, you are taught, though, is by watching somebody who knows how to do it actually do it and maybe invest their own money while you're watching. Yep, so that was a, an hourly time frame is where they, they found that potential idea. Me personally, I actually like a little bit lower one that's down a little bit lower on a larger time frame. Right. Because I like to be able to have trades and investments last a little bit longer. So I'm looking at a larger time frame with a potential bigger um, area to get in. Right. And there's there's more, how do I explain it, uh, more room for, I don't want to say error, but more room for an opportunity to be able to get in, not at the exact price. So that's the key is once you've been able to learn how to do this, then you can start to do more on your own. So yeah. that's kind of the keys to be able to see it. You know, here's what here's what some potential ideas are because you're going to visually train your mind into seeing that same thing. And if you need yeah. help with some of that stuff, you know, we, we cover a lot of that in this investing class uh, that we do here locally as far as do you need help with being able to visualize where the market has potential to go, whether it's going to go up or go, go down. It's not a guess. It's strategic, and it's a strategy that we've been training for over 25 years. So I want to invite you to this investing class. We'll introduce you to that concept. Uh, you can just text the word investing to the number 210 210- 210 for two seats for an investing class, text investing to 210, 210. Before I interrupted, you had a comment you wanted to make. Yeah, I wanted to talk about Intel for a second here. Basically, what you're looking at right there is a what we would call a, a short-term income type trade. And it may it could trigger the same day you get into it. Uh, it may take a few days. It may take a few weeks. Mm-hmm. But that if you're looking for income, you, you can't be looking at getting into something and holding it for 5 or 10 or 15 years. And let's look at Intel. If you were a buy-and-hold person... And back in 2000, in the year 2000, when the, the NASDAQ was on fire in uh, about a five-year period, 1995 until 2000, it was up over 500%. The companies that did really well during that time period were like Intel, Oracle, Cisco, Dell, Microsoft. They did well. There were a lot of other dot-com companies that uh, you know, bit the dust during that yeah, time period. actually went from $6 all the way up to about 75 Intel in 2000 was trading right around $75, and on some odd sense. Mm-hmm. Today, it is trading around $32. Exactly. And, and that's after a fairly big move. So it's been hovering in the $20 range, uh, even lower than that for a while. But if you were a buy and hold, if you bought Intel in the year 2000 or you owned it in the year 2000, 
and you owned it at $74 a share, you now own it at $32, $33 a share. It's not feeling pretty good. So buy and hold doesn't always work for you. Cisco, the same thing. Cisco hasn't come back to where it was in the year 2000. Yeah, just looking at the price chart here for our YouTube listeners that are watching on the live stream here, you, you look at, so when it did go to that 75, it went straight back down within right. about a year. Yep. And it's, uh, we'll say, January of 2002. It was actually higher than what it is now. So and it's been range bound. Mm. Yep. And people say, oh, Intel is such a great company. Well, it is. But that doesn't really reflect what the stock price will do. And that's the key in trading and investing is what the what the company is doing really has nothing to do with what the stock price is doing. Yeah, well, it it does in a way, but the stock price really is determined by buyers or sellers. Correct. And, Correct. and, and what the buyers and sellers are, are doing is, is they're simply moving price. Uh, you can look at, at news events. You can look at uh, specific situations that are specific to a certain company and and think that the price should do something based on that. But if buyers aren't there, it's not going to go up. If sellers aren't there, it's not going to go down. You know, it's it's the impact of – actually, it's the big buyers and the big sellers that we're looking for. If you can just follow the people that are actually moving the price of something, it, and isn't that what you want when you invest in something? If you buy a stock, for example, you want it to go up in price. Well, if there's somebody out there that's going to move the price up, impact the price in an upward direction – wouldn't you want to know when they were going to do that so you could make a an entry at that point uh, and not after they've already made their their taken their position uh, but trading for income as Josh kind of alluded to in that first section is different you approach the markets different than you do if you're looking at building wealth but you can't build wealth until you have that income portion down if if your job isn't providing enough extra income for you to put into a long-term portfolio it's not there or it's not as big as you want it to be when you are going to need it when you retire. Yep. So you need to really get that income, the extra income part down first. And then you're still going to use that when you retire because the income from your job is gone. Yeah. Another thing that's to kind of clarify what I was alluding to with the stock price doesn't necessarily reflect what the company is doing is we have Jeff Bezos on the record talking about when Amazon was with stock price was super low, super low. And he's like, the, the earnings were great. Everything was great with the company, but the stock price didn't reflect that. And yep. when you talked about buyers and sellers, there just wasn't buyers in there. Exactly. And then buyers finally came in the market and shot uh, Amazon up, uh, as we know, to a pretty high price. I think we've seen a couple splits here. Um, it's roughly at about 100 bucks per share right now. But uh, great earn or great moves from, oh, let's look at it from here, from 2003 up to... 2021, it was up about 9,000%. Yeah. So I think you, Bezos knows what he's talking about there. Yeah. And that's a great thing is the the stock price and the company, you know, that's why we want to trust our charts. Yeah. Trust trust our charts, which is supply and demand, where buyers and sellers might be, and then making low risk, high reward, high probability entry points in these markets. And that's typically at or near a turn in price. And we introduce that concept for an income strategy in these, uh, in these investing classes that we do here locally. So these classes are about two hours long. We're going to show you what that looks like as far as to have the, the different types of strategies, the income strategy and the, the we'll, we'll call it wealth, but it's your 401k and IRA strategy. They're going to be a little bit different as far as how you approach them. So we'll, we're going to kind of break that down in this investing class so you can be able to say this is the right uh, strategy I need, or maybe I need this other strategy for my wealth. And that's where you're going to be able to determine what's right for you and not your broker or money manager. So text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats for a free investing class local here in Bloomington. Um, we got classes during the week. We also have them on the weekend and in the evenings, but also we have a couple coming up in Maple Grove and uh, Woodbury. So included here in Bloomington. So we have a couple locations where you can come and uh, check these out uh, real easy to get to. So just text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats. Coming up next, we're going to continue. We never got to talk about Oracle. We'll talk about that. Okay. But we'll also talk about some wealth strategies, which would be 401k and IRA, so you can make smart investing decisions within those. This is Josh and Al, Investing and Trading Live. We will be right back. <laughs> 